Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. So excited again to talk to my next guest. He's been on the show before, but has some exciting news to share with everyone. He's just been nominated for a Juno Award, and we'll get to the category and talk to I mean, he's excited at any given time. Such a great person, but um, really excited to be nominated. And of course, uh, I, I, I can't wait to introduce you to him. But first, we're going to let you listen to one of his songs that is called Trust in the Lord. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I will trust in the name of the Lord. The road may seem rough, the battle too strong, I know that you will see me through. I will trust in you forever, I will trust in you, I will trust in you forever, I will trust. That is Daniel Ojo, and he has been nominated for a Juno Award for his album called Trusted. He joins me in the studio. Daniel, congratulations. Oh, thank this you. This is thank so, you so exciting. Much. <laughs> We're going to get to that story in, in just a moment and how you know you found out and so forth, but I'd mm -hmm. um, love you to introduce yourself to our to our viewers. Tell me a little bit about your, your musical background. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Daniel Ojo again. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, a worship leader, a CEO of Sami's Records label. Um, um, I'm also a husband, happily married to the love of my wife. I gotta say that one, <laughs> Aug nice. Augustina, uh, with a beautiful baby girl, uh, turning three in June. Her name is Rebecca as well. Um, I'm also a full-time project manager. I've been into music literally all my life really, at this eh? point. What yes. was your introduction to music? Uh, so my dad is a singer, my mom is a singer, so I kind of didn't have a choice. I was kind of stuck in the, <laughs> to be a singer. It was a, a natural singer. fit. It was yeah. just a natural fit you for me. You were voluntold so. to sing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, th this is, as I said, it's so exciting for an artist to get nominated for a Juno <laughs> Award. Uh, tell us about the category, first of all. Uh, contemporary Christian Gospel Artist uh, album. And honestly, I'm still stoked. I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that I got nominated. It's it's just incredible. It's just and, incredible. And the album's called Trust. Uh, yes. We just heard, you know, Trust in the Lord, mm -hmm. uh, a great, you know, religious and gospel song. How, how would you describe the rest of that album, Trust? Uh, honestly, so it started off as a single. Okay. Uh, it was just going to be a single release. Uh, at the time, with COVID and everything that's happening, I got to a point where, um, you know, everything else was failing, and I just, I, I was just having a conversation with God, and the one of my favorite scriptures is uh, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I would trust in the name of the Lord. So that was literally how the song started. Okay. So I started writing as a song of encouragement that whatever you're going through, the road may be too rough, the battle too strong, but you can still trust in God. So that was literally how we started from a, from a single to an album. Before it's incredible. The album came <laughs> about. Yeah. Okay, so. You're, you've been nominated for a Juno. Tell me how you found out about that. Oh, man. I was at work in a meeting, okay. and my phone started buzzing. So I'm like, what is going on? So I, I took a peek, and like a lot of my friends were sending me messages and videos that they found my name on the screen. I was like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> and that was literally how I found out, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Like I said, like, it's just an incredible feeling to know that my music is actually being heard and is blessing people out there. It's just it's incredible. So do you plan on going then to Absol the Juno? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I got my Well, flight. not everyone can have, you know, not everyone can go necessarily, right, yeah. when they when yeah. they get nominated. Uh, yeah. Where where is it this year, by in the Edmonton. way? Edmonton. Okay. Yes, March you got, you've 13th. booked a flight in the room all and everything set. everything all already. Set. Wow. <laughs> I just love it. Um, Walk me through your writing process. So what is your writing process like? Uh, a lot of times I write either based on uh, the circumstances, maybe okay. based on what I'm going through, or 
just because I love music. So I started playing piano f like when I was eight. Uh, so a lot of times I sit with my piano and then while playing, I start bringing up like readings and a lot of my songs that I write, they are mostly based on the scripture. So like it's, it's a lot easier for me to just write because I kind of have the lyrics in the Bible. So I just take the lyrics and just put it into, into a song. So usually, so once I do that, I have some incredible producers and engineers that I work with uh, all over the world as well, I send it over to them. They put everything together that make my job super easy. <laughs> uh, so that's usually the writing process for me, uh, either based on circumstances or just just sitting and having a good time with my piano nice. for the most what part. It, what about recording? Um, do you go into the studio? Do you play right. multiple instruments? Uh, what's the recording process yeah, so like? I, I play five instruments, okay. by the way. So you're a little talented, <laughs> all right. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my own studio as well, nice. so that makes it a lot easier for me to just go in and just do my recordings as well. Right. Uh, what about reaction? Friends and family? I mean, they must be, must be over the moon for uh, you. Oh, man. Friends and family even my work my work is starting to ask me if I'm gonna leave them now that I'm <laughs> now that I'm Juno nominated and I'm going uh, we'll think about it a little yeah, bit but yeah. I think everyone is super super happy for me uh, so really my mom is really proud of uh, the journey and how far uh, I've gone well, with with music and I, I'm really grateful for that any are you working on another project right now <sighs> Good question. The last time I was here, I said I wasn't working on a project, mm -hmm. and I ended up working on yeah. one. <laughs> so sometimes I, I just don't know sometimes what's going to happen. But now that I'm nominated for Juno, I think I'm a little bit more encouraged to even do more, because right, knowing that course. my music is really making impacts out there and people love my music, then I guess i got to write more songs. I uh, <laughs> just have about 40 seconds, but just what, what advice would you give to somebody out there that, that has a passion for music and, you know, just finds themselves working away and, you know, the, they haven't gotten to their dream yet and here you are, you know, living a, a bit of a dream yourself? <laughs> um, I would say stay true to yourself. Uh, just be you, because when I started this, it was almost like nobody was listening to my music. Nobody really cares. Mm. Uh, I got a lot of rejections and stuff, but I just kept, you know, being who I am, you know, stay true to yourself. You are unique, you know, you got something that the world needs. If it's a skill, right. if it's painting, like we just, we yeah, just witnessed, yeah. no, whatever, great, whatever. Great it piece is. of advice, Daniel. Absolutely. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. Really, from all of us. We'll be right back after this.